Good afternoon. Today I am going to present about relation, the chapter relation. So today I am going to discuss about introduction of relation, application of relation, example and mathematician help in relation. First, introduction of relation. A relation in mathematics is defines the relationship between two different sets of information. If two sets are considered, the relation between them will be established if there is a connection between the elements of two or more non-empty sets. Relation in math. Relation in math helps to give away, give away of establishing a connection between any two objects or thing. A relation describes the relationship between two objects that are usually represented as the ordered pair, input, output, or ordered pair x, y. Here, x and y are elements from sets. Relation has several uh, applications, especially in the fields of computer science, to create RD BMS. The article will elaborate on relation, the types, how to link elements from two sets using relation and associated examples. Examples Empty relation When no element of set X is related or mapped to any element of X, then the relation R in A is an empty relation and also called as a body relation, that is, R equals to null set. For example, if there are 100 mangoes in the food basket, there is no possibility of getting any apples in the basket. And finding a relation R, so R is a void as it has 100 mangoes and no apples. Universal relation. R is a relation in a set, let's say A is a universal set, universal relation. Because in this full relation, every element of A is related to every element of A, that is R equals to A cross A. It's a full relation of every element of set A is in set B. Symmetric relation. A symmetric relation is a relation R on a set A if ordered pair A comma B belongs to R. Then ordered pair B comma A which belongs to A R. For all small A and small B belongs to capital A. Identity relation. If every element of set A is related to itself only, it is called identity relation, which is I equals to set of ordered pair A, A comma A which belongs to small A. For example, when we throw a die, the total number of possible outcomes is 36, that is, ordered pair 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3 and goes on. From these, if you consider the relation 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4 and goes on till 6, ordered pair 6, 6, it is an identity relation. Reflexive relation. A relation is a reflexive relation if every element of set A maps itself, that is, for every small A belongs to uh, capital A, ordered pair A, A belongs to uh, capital R. Transitive relation. If ordered pair small a comma small b belongs to capital R, comma ordered pair b comma c belongs to capital R, then ordered pair a comma c belongs to capital R for all small a small b small c belongs to capital A. This relation in set A is transitive. Equivalence relation. If a relation is reflexive, symmetric, and transitive, then the relation is called an equivalence relation. Thank you.